so speak ye and so do as they that shall be judged by the law of liberty. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power resisteth the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Well, what about Romans 13? If we live in a communist Russia, you know, we shouldn't go to church if they say so. Or communist China, they say don't go to church. We should just obey the government. No, listen, Romans 13 is very clear that rulers should not be a terror to good works. And when rulers become evil, and they are evil to the good, then they're the problem. They're exactly the problem that Romans 13 is preaching about. And guess who? The highest power is the Most High, God Himself. We fear God. We obey God. And when He tells us to do something, you better take it very seriously. And I don't care if we live in a fascist or a communist country. We have a law that will set us at liberty. It's the law of God. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And it's important for us to know that law, to preach that law, and to share it with other people. When government hurts people, they become that evil power that the Bible warned about. And, you know, they have due judgment coming. Just as Ahab and Jezebel got their judgment, sometimes in this world we can point to certain politicians and say, what they're doing is so wrong and so wicked. Lord, would you judge them? You just All you can do is just sigh and cry for the abominations done in the city. Say, Lord, I trust you to avenge against them.